Hello, welcome to the program Agric Economy. I am your host, Amin Khadija Uluwa Toyin. On today's episode, we will be taking a look at the stakeholders' meeting in continued efforts to ensure safe and healthy production of food with higher nutritional value, long shelf life and control pollution, and the enhancement of biodiversity, cultivating resistance of crops to pests, diseases, as well as controlling soil degradation and erosion. By the Ecological Organic Agriculture Initiative in Nigeria, EOA. The meeting held was also to create a strategic plan for organic and agroecology, also to report achievements of the EOA initiative project to the national system, which includes governments and national stakeholders, and of course, economic development. Speaking during the event, the Executive Secretary, Agricultural Research Council of Nigeria, ARCN, Professor Garbasha Rubutu, noted that organic agriculture was at its infancy stage and was gathering momentum, and everyone involved in decision making was contributing their quota to ensure its very aim of providing quality nutrition. Uh, the organic agriculture in Nigeria, it's at its infancy and it's gathering momentum. And a lot of uh, institutions are contributing their various quota. The very aim is where we, where we come in, others, is the quality of nutrition and food that is provided. It's not just sufficient to produce food, but to improve its quality. And that's where organic agriculture plays a very uh, significant role in terms of the food is organic in nature. From this event, from it, it's, it's about reporting about the activities of Ecological Organization, uh, Organic Agriculture Initiative in Nigeria, what they have done in, uh, in the past uh, year, and reporting to every stakeholder what they have done, the achievements, and presenting the challenges for a way forward so that we can move it from where it is to where it should be. Today, it's, it's by our awareness awareness generation by everybody by every of the stakeholders involved to 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 I mean to set up training sessions for our farmers at their various levels. Uh, the executive secretary uh, uh, whom we popularly call the DSEA in person of Garba Hamid uh, since he came on board he has shown great interest uh, in organic uh, agriculture. Since he came on board he has brought on a lot of initiatives to promote organic uh, agriculture. One of them is that since he came on board, he established a index for organic agriculture. And uh, yours sincerely, uh, my humble self is the one handling the, uh, that index. So uh, additionally to, he's also looking at the possibility of using ARC and TV stroke radio to air activities related to organic agriculture. So uh, we recently opened a TV and radio station, and in fact, it's reaching almost every part of Nigeria. So a few days, somebody called me all the way from Kuala State, uh, in a place called Kayama, that yes, they are receiving uh, the signal there. So at least this is a platform where uh, we can key in and, uh, to promote this uh, organic agriculture. Additionally, too, the council too has written to all its research institutes to find out their level of involvement in organic agriculture. So, the, yes, uh, and to buttress that, the doctor that just left here from raw material has already told us what is happening in IHOT and uh, other places as well. Those that have killed in already, we are what, encouraging them. And those that have not, we are telling them that please go ahead and uh, key into this uh, novel idea. So additionally too, the ARCN has a journal for publication. Once, you, uh, and uh, in line with that, the journal has been made free. If you want to publish anything on organic agriculture, just send it uh, to ARCN. God willing, it will be published for you free of charge. So uh, that's that. And, uh, Yes, there's a, an agricultural research outreach program which uh, is popularly, popularly called AROP here in the council. Uh, it's a kind of a forum or medium where any output 
latest output regarding uh, uh, agriculture are being taught to rural farmers. So uh, the program has been ongoing for a long time, but now the ES, or our executive secretary, is looking at possibility of making organic agriculture as one of the components of that uh, Arab program. Uh, God willing. Also speaking, the country coordinator, EOA initiative in Nigeria, Dr. Olubenga Adolua, stated that the initiative originated from the African Union Commission, the ECOWAS Commission, and now has been brought to Nigeria and anchored by the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development. Let's hear from him. Well, now for food sufficiency, the major challenge that our farmers are um, comfort, uh, maybe uh, they, they're having, is that uh, they lack resources for optimum food production in terms of fertilizers, uh, pesticides, etc. But the reality there is that uh, God has blessed us with natural alternatives for these which most farmers don't know. When we're talking about organic agriculture or agroecology, we are talking about working with the nature. Which means, first of all, put in place within your farming systems what will prevent weed, what will prevent pests, what will prevent diseases. And thereafter, then you can now uh, produce. You know, and if you do that one, the overhead of the farmers will reduce. Which means, with little cost of input, they can produce more. And which means, with that, they can have more uh, in their production. For example, you know, I'm not just uh, an academic or a trainer in organic system. I'm a farmer myself, and then uh, we have farms that we have been doing for 11 years without a single uh, external input, and, uh, and we are doing well. So it means translates to better production. My advice to farmers is to work with nature, consider organic agriculture for two things. Number one, your health, you know, and the health of the consumers, and two, for better income. Because if you do organic, many people know that what you are doing is healthy. You have more patronage compared to those that do it anyhow. You know, so that is one of the things we benefit in our own family organic farm. Before we produce, buyers are already on ground. Because, you know, people know that, that once they eat healthy, then they, don't have, uh, they have less challenges with their health. So, better production and a better patronage for farmers. We'll take a quick break. When we return, we'll bring you more speakers who, of course, uh, uh, spoke during the event. Stay tuned. Still the program Agric Economy. Like I said earlier, we've been talking about ecological agriculture. Mr. Ernest Albi is the chairman EOA Regional Steering Committee, ECOWAS Commission. He also added that for Nigeria to achieve its goal of food sustainability, it has to explore all possible avenues of which organic agriculture was one in addition to conventional agricultural practices. He said these and many more of these ideas would ensure food sustainability not for Nigeria alone, but for the world at large. Let's hear from him. In order to achieve food and nutrition, uh, security and self-sufficiency, 
we have to explore all possible avenues and organic agriculture is one of such avenues in addition to conventional agriculture. So it is very important uh, that all the stakeholders come together in Nigeria to uh, uh, define a roadmap on how organic agriculture can be promoted to bring greater benefits to the country uh, from the perspective of food and nutrition security, from, from the perspective of income generation for the farmers, also from the perspective of uh, um, uh, enhancing the national economy of Nigeria. So I think uh, this meeting of the EOA initiative of Nigeria is very timely and very relevant, especially at a time when uh, there is uh, an increase in food prices across the world because of so many factors, including the Russia-Ukrainian crisis. After all is said by stakeholders, the event is a two-day uh, stakeholders meeting which is aimed at achieving its outlined goals of making ecological organic food sufficient and promote its health benefits and not forgetting that the growth so the gross domestic product is also being increased i hope you enjoyed this week's episode of the program agric economy join us again same time same station next week and don't forget to like and follow our page on youtube catch ya